So let me give you a little bit of context first. The context of this is a library somewhere, I think in Colorado too. I don't know. I, I actually, I'm not sure about this one. A library was thinking of bringing drag queens to the library. Why? Because that's the current agenda of the day to groom kids. And there was a proposal to defeat this. So both pros and cons would come up and speak their opinion on why or why not drag queens should speak to little kids. And this is a drag queen. He's not in his drag gear. But once he starts talking, you'll know that he is a sodomite. And now let's see why he wants drag queen happy hour to take place. let you know that this event is something that's going to be very beautiful and for the children and the people that support it are going to realize that this is going to be the grooming of the next generation this is going to be the grooming of the next generation we are trying to groom the next generation to not see the way that they just did and just because i said that you heard the little plore of people behind me it's disgusting A drag queen, a useful idiot, because they don't have the, the real power. They are elevated by people high up in their little spaceships. <clears throat> he said, this is grooming of the next generation. That's what I've been saying for a while. From the horse's mouth, guys. He knows what he's doing. Because he is trying to get a greater supply of young boys and girls to receive his sodomy. That's what it is. Can you imagine me going to a uh, elementary school to groom little girls to, to, to uh, say, hey girls, having a beard, a big beard and dating a man 30 years older than you is good. Eh? And I mean, that's just... That's that's bad. <laughs> oh man. I mean, I can't how sick do you have to be to go into a, a situation where you know you're grooming kids for AIDS? And we have another picture out of Colorado. I'm telling you Colorado, some I don't know if it's just a statistical thing where I'm just, or the news in Colorado is uh, coming out. So earlier we talked about a school there that was having the queer stuff, stuff, the queer kid stuff, stuff. <coughs> so now we have a picture from, okay, this is the city of Boulder li library. And it's a picture of a freak, a man dressed as Little Bo Peep, or I don't know what the hell that is, a yellow dress. Let me see if I can make this bigger. You got a freak here and a lot of kids, a lot of moms. Guess how many dads? Zero. Zero dads. The only man, ironically, is the freak. A lot of young kids. I'm looking at a kid in the front row, uh, in the bottom right. He looks like he's four. And they're having this freak groom kids. Again, evil stuff. And the city of Boulder, from their official account, said, great turnout of families at Drag Queen Storytime at Boulder, Colorado, this morning. When this tweet came to my attention, there was about 20 comments on it. And I thought, we can help that out. I retweeted it, and since I'm an important node for this anti-evil alien agenda, an important node that must be destroyed and destroyed soon, and they're doing it. Just got banned SoundCloud and Twitch. Let's see how many comments now. 
2,100. People, that this is, people don't like it. They're pushing it onto people. They don't like it. And a lot of the comments, very few are saying, oh, this is a good idea. People are noting, this is sick. The fathers are not there. And so on. I am, you know, in the past, let's say I was a young man. I would get, I would write an article and get a lot of views on it and feel good about it. I feel good now that I'm bringing awareness to this evil. For the first time in my life, I feel like for sure I'm on the side of good. I mean, it does, it's not hard to stand against this. I'm not saying I deserve anything. I don't. But I am sure I'm on the side of good. <laughs> there is no doubt that I am guaranteed doing good. You know, I don't have kids. I don't, I'm not saying I protect children. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying, I mean, but I had a childhood. I was a kid. I wasn't groomed. I wasn't abused in any way. My mom would get mad at me if I didn't clean my room and yell at me, but that's okay. I think a human being should have a childhood where they're not sexualized and groomed. That's it. That's all. Is, is that wrong? 